Assalamu alaikum. Hi guys, we're back with a new episode of Overground and this is the March episode. Woo! Now I thought we'd go by month. It'd be simpler for everybody to understand. Yes. Yeah, so any release that's come out in in March? Yeah? Well, we decide Okay, bear with us. From next month, it'll be month by month. We're just we're taking from 2020 basically February January, February, March onwards. Is it is a it, couple of them are February releases that Achha, I know. No okay. Januarys, but we got some Februarys. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's 2024. We're getting you ready for spring. Okay. We're wrapping <laughs> up okay. the game before. It's okay. Spring. New songs. Yes. New songs that are not discussed before. Yes. Uh, I have a whole list. Yeah. We got big list this time. We have a bunch of drama soundtracks. Yeah. We have some new Bollywood. Yeah. Some new Netflix soundtrack. Yes. And we have a bunch of hip hop R&B out of Pakistan the last couple Type of, of weeks. Songs. Yeah, for Type, sure. Types. Yeah, those types. So, mm-hmm. I think we should start with <clears throat> soundtracks. What do you think? Which one do you have in mind? Um, I want the one that's freshest in my mind. Can, 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 I, can I just start with saying that Ed Sheeran was in Mumbai for like oh, the, yes! the third, fourth time. He loves it over there. He, he loves Mumbai and he was hosted by Shah Rukh Khan and he did the whole Shah Rukh Khan's, you know, that pose with him. Raj. And and he also had a concert, I think on the 12th of March, in which Diljit Dosanjh made an appearance and sang. And <sighs> it was like a moment that went viral and it took me back to lover yeah because that song came out 2 years ago yeah but it's still kind of hits. having its moment now i feel yeah. with the ambani pre-wedding was it sure an adam bani pre-wedding who yeah yeah uh, yeah i feel one. like they're boys yeah, over yeah. there they were one of the performers there he was there and then he did lover and karina kapoor in her little choli yes, that danced that's it. so nice she had a moment he so, had his <laughs> so he said that at the same wedding that rihanna was at He was like we don't need anyone. We got Karina Kapoor. She's our Rihanna. He did say that. Yeah. yeah good for him. Good for him. Good for him. Oh, uh, we will get into Miss Karina Kapoor. We will on get this into this episode. Absolutely. But then Dilchit is having a year as well because yeah. he's he's in crew yeah. with Karina Kapoor. Yeah. Although not paired with her, but I think He actually ha- no, he's yeah, not. He's, he's with Kirti Sanan. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping it was him and Karina I also and I, I was watching it, but she's also huh. obviously a stunning beautiful yeah, yeah, woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he um he has a viral clip from an interview he did once where somebody was like so like if you had to describe yourself like what would you do and he was like mai to kuch nahi karta he's like and he was cackling he was like i do nothing <laughs> he goes i make one movie a year one song a year and then i'm but chilling. he has made two movies this year yeah and he is crew and then uh, what is it chamkila amar singh chamkila oh i love him also yeah. he has a song that just came out with sawidi the rapper yeah yeah so he's on like ever since kachila as he called it kachala yeah, he's in, kachila. which i love and um, again kachala i think is in the next couple of weekends and ap dillon mm-hmm. will be performing Ooh. so you got an i see an <laughs> ap dillon yeah. drake collaboration coming this year i can feel it really yeah i sense it in the air Are you manifesting it? I am manifesting. Okay, right, okay. I just yeah. like to see brown people win, you know. I know, absolutely. Yeah. I absolutely love Diljit. Oh, but I love so him. I think the Punjabi in me kind of connects with the Punjabi in him. And I saw this clip on again on on social media where he's sitting with Anushka Sharma. Yeah. Aur wo bata rahi hai ki wo diet mein you know ye nahi khati aur wo bajra bajra ki roti khati hai aur anaj ki roti nahi khati aur quinoa roti khati hai. And his expression is like <laughs> what? like um like in really? like years. years and know. so when they lost the world cup everyone was like was it worth it whereas like our boys were like shoving biryani shoving biryani i mean really um, really guys and we're great um we anyway, will not food shame so, so here let's maybe start we should with, go into them then let's start with diljeet yeah let's because, start with diljeet because uh, soundtrack for crew is out yes and they've got a lot of covers Ila Ar- uh, Ar- Ar- Arun Arun covers yeah. which is like the Choli ke piche and the Ghagra and all of that so it's great songs from the past yeah um not a fan of the covers um the remix yeah so first I'll say this when you're opening this music video you have Karina Kapoor oh my god Tabu wow uh Diljeet of course the, the hottest one for me yeah. and then Kirti Sonan a newer actress i think maybe last 5ish yeah. years she's great too 
And it's Jolie Kepiche, and I have to say what, in my notes, I wrote, song is trash. <laughs> like, absolutely not good. Yeah. Yeah. Have, I, you, have you seen the original? Of, of have course, I seen right? the original? You have, right? I know all the dance steps. My parents there are you very go. proud. So, I mean, no, it doesn't See, measure up to it at I all. I grew up with Madhuri mm. Dixit. Like many people, I'm sure, Madhuri mm. Dixit was my beauty icon. Yeah. Like, I'm very happy that I grew up in a household that really, like, held brown women in like high yeah. esteem as yeah. the um, mainstream beauty in my house. So yeah. like Madhuri means the world to me. And Jolie Kapiche, actually one time we were watching, we would get those DVDs or VHSs back in the day, yeah. best of Madhuri. And we were playing it and my daddy actually like mm-hmm. walked out of the room because she was like, Baskar, like this is Behuda Pan and da da My dad was like, nah, man, this is the jam. So I was excited to hear this, but I knew in about five Aye. seconds that it was not the best. Yeah, bura tha. that's a hard one to try. To... Yeah, I mean, but the, the remake is not good and the video is not good yeah. and Karina is not looking her best. And, you know, where's the Choli and where's the, the move and, you know. Yeah, and there was like, something like, like they. it's so basically, I guess the movie is about a flight crew or like a heist crew and yeah. they're like on flights. And the opening lines are, make sure your Choli is tight so that your heart doesn't fall out. And it's like. What a, that's a really bad line. And that's almost more vulgar than not explaining it. I feel like it was just a very strange yeah, thing to say. Kya hai is, is a very catchy line. Yeah. And it, 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 the next line is, Choli mein dil hai mera. Yeah, like you know, it's, it's explained. Like, yeah. <laughs> we yeah. didn't need that. Exactly. We didn't need the tagline for 2024, yeah. I think. It just makes it Yeah, cheap. so that can go away. Yeah. I, and then Diljit ka niya gana aya, Nena. Yes. Um, from what? From the film. Yeah, yeah so that's my Dacha. favorite of the three. Yeah. For yeah. sure. For sure. I put this yeah. on my playlist today also yeah. like in general huh. so it's him and yeah huh. Badsha, and Badsha a classic hip hop R&B duo yeah. for yeah. the filmy set yeah. Um, yeah and I literally wrote a song I would listen to however impractical travel outfits was because they're like <laughs> literally like getting on the plane and I, I was like freezing cold yeah. they were like here's three inches of fabric both sides and I'm like you better at least you had a coat but and I'm like, yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, but that okay. song, I think that's a listener. But to me, it's a good one. But the film is doing really well. Oh, it's already and the, and the okay. Music, I know, and the music is doing really well, and we can't wait for it to come on Netflix. So we can yeah. So it. I was gonna say, like, I'm so out of the Bollywood yeah. mix, and like, whatever, how, how we feel about that yeah. politically, but. Their other song was Ghagra. Yeah. Um, yeah. I thought that was okay. I, I wrote it was kind of forgettable. Like right now the beat isn't coming to my head as we talk about it. I mean, it's a classic. It's yeah. A really, it's, a, it's, a, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's a fun song, but yeah. I'm not but because reaching for Indian it. Indian films don't release in Pakistan and yeah. we're, we love Bollywood and we love Bollywood music. If anybody wants to sponsor our trips to, to Dubai, right? Yeah, Dubai. Where it's yeah, safer. that's the... That's a, like the nearest place we can go yeah. to catch a Bollywood film. Yeah. You know, get in a theater near you. The nearest theater is in Dubai. Yeah, so literally. And all endorsement. Is I welcome. also think um, yeah. after Rocky or Rani, hmm. there are there is going to be, I think, a revival of the like soundtracks and the fun of Bollywood. Yeah. I feel like we went very serious for a very long time, and like mm-hmm. there's some fun coming back. And the soundtrack of this proves it. They're trying to have yeah. some fun. Yeah. But yeah, again, Nana's the best. The other two, uh, Choli Kibich, so everyone much. should just forget they were involved with it. So Amar Singh uh, Chamkila is also coming out on I think 12th April on Netflix. Okay, which nice. Is also Diljit. And, um, He's so hot. I was so sad when I found yeah, out he was and, married. And it's, it's an Imtiaz Ali film, so I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, nice. Yeah. Also, yeah. I think a musician, Chamkila was a musician okay. who died really young. Oh. And so it's a kind of a biopic. Okay, but nice. it's Imtiaz Ali and it's music from A.R. Rahman. And of course, Mohit uh, Chauhan. Mohit Johan. So I'm expecting And there's a lot. Ali is Highway and all of those films. Jab We right? Met. Yeah. Oh, Jab We Met, Jab not we Highway. Met. Jab We Met. Jab We Met. You know, I had never seen Jab We Met until very recently. Really? Yeah, I was like, like I, I'm very big into romantic comedies. And so the whole world was like, listen, you dumb. <laughs> Redacted. You yeah, need to you watch, watch this movie. Yeah, yeah. I completely get it. And he, I had no idea. Maybe Highway as well. I'm not sure. If he's the one who would collaborate with Mahesh Bhatt, is that like his? I might be no, confusing no, no, no. people. I think, yeah. I think even I am. But yeah, it, sorry. It Jab Met. Okay, yeah. Jabwi Met seems a lot happier yeah. than the guy I'm thinking about <laughs> yeah. in his movies. Actually, from there, why don't we take it 
back to Netflix too and talk about Hira Mandi. Yes, coming out Suna Hai on 1st May. Yeah. Although unconfirmed uh, release date hai abhi tak. Do gaane, do teen gaane aa chuke hain iske. Yeah. The first was Sakal Ban. Yeah. And when I hear Sakal Ban, I my head goes back to Mughal Funk and Misha Shafi. Yeah, Shaki. yeah, I was going to say. And um I did like it. Like a Sak- Sakal Ban. Yeah. So, yeah, I did like it because Kaval like yeah, 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 you know and and I can completely You know the visual of that is so beautiful but yes I immediately thought of Misha Shafi yeah. and I also thought of like I think the critics the criticism or the sort of like ugh mm. feeling about Hira Mandi is like it is our story right like it's our history it's like it I'm also, okay with it I know a lot of people are like well, we don't want to touch that but yeah. I feel like what an opportunity that they could have done like a collaborative project just for our artists too yeah. because like this song was beautiful I like this song But imagine if Misha was also on it. I feel like but I just love Misha's voice and I feel like it would lend itself really well to this movie. I feel that if uh, things were good between India and Pakistan, you would see Indian actors in Hira Mandi as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. But music collaborations are happening. For sure. Yeah, we have a couple actually. We have a couple to hone each other. Um the 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 lismi bahe. Thank God. It was going to be like to last me bahe. The lismi bahe means magical arms. So magical embrace. Oh, bahe. Okay. What do you think? I I don't know because I was like man like I was like who is that? The list me behen magical sister that does okay. not sound right. No no no. <laughs> Let's you can ask my sister maybe she feels yeah, that magical. Okay. Um Sanakshi Sinha stunner. Yeah. Stunner. Stunner so underrated. So, underrated. so underutilized. And I, I, Bollywood has not known has not realized how to use her. Yeah. Has no. not figured it out. Has not. Absolutely. Um truly from like that new crop of huh. like the in between I feel like yeah. the millennial actresses if you will. Like she didn't get to make the mark she wanted to make, and I'm pretty sure it was just like I body think, related. Uh, body related, completely. Yeah, completely. Related. Because she doesn't conform to the this, yeah the ideal beauty standard that they have, the creepy sanans, yeah, with the yeah, long legs and the flat stomach. But I still and... feel if Sanakshi was like at a party with me, mm. she would be like a normal, average, thin woman. But it's just like in comparison, of course, you know. Yeah. But that being said, mm. um, you know what I liked about it is that it was. musical like yeah. a musical it was pushing the plot forward yeah. there was a reason the song is in there yeah. and like i said i think be, after rocky or rani mm. i feel like we're going to get more of that back the musicals where the songs have a point <laughs> like they're there for plot for pushing forward that's what i think that's mm. my because we've had a lot of years and of this just, is a musical here and is a musical yeah so let's see yeah But sometimes I feel like in the last few years there would be songs and we're like what are we doing? Yeah. And like just like a stupid use of item song because you're yeah. like this is boring we need to put And those are the best songs, don't get me wrong, but like they're dumb in the video. I'm okay with the, the yeah. song not pushing a flop plot. Yeah. But it has to be a good song. Yeah. You know. And I thought it was okay. I'm not going to listen to it again. Yeah, exactly. Like it was fine. I like Sagoban. I think more. I would I would be okay with hearing it while watching the film. I wouldn't forward it perhaps. Yeah. Would you forward Oh yeah, because it? it's only 2 minutes. Yeah, I wouldn't forward. You can keep my attention for 2 minutes. Aisa nahi hai ki main forward kar dungi. Yeah, yeah. But aisa nahi hai ki I would want to add it to my playlist yeah. and listen to it over and over again. Yeah, no, no, no. Sakal ban bhi aisa nahi. Yeah. The both of them. No. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. Now All let's right, do then. some Pakistani drama soundtrack. Yeah, we want to jump straight to the drama, Pakistani oh. drama. It's oh. on top of my head. Oh, so I'm like I do need it, to do speak it, about it. Do it. Rad, 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 rad. So it has not come out yet. This no. is a new drama that will be on an air on uh, ARY very ARY, soon. ARY, ARY, yes. um, starring Shayar Manavar and who's the girl? As, uh, the, <laughs> I was going to say Arslan is here, but no, the girl is Heba Bukhari. And the other boy is Arslan. Is Arslan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Interesting cast. <laughs> I don't Why know. For some reason, that? they like don't. Like it looks like three people that should be in three different things for me. Why do you say know. that? It's interesting because you don't watch dramas as yeah. much as I do. Yeah. So I, I'd like to hear your perspective. Why do you think so? I feel like Shreya Manavar to me gives very like contemporary. I feel she is very like. Cla- like I can see her doing like heavy dramas. Yeah. And then the other guy I've just never seen before so I'm just being judgmental. But they're all beautiful and hot. I'm just saying like yeah, it yeah, seemed I'm- a bit random. But the song itself, this is a music show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like let me yeah. go back. Huh. Um 
Why don't you go first? So uh, this is a song by Asim Azhar. Yeah, my king. I was waiting for you to say his name again. Yeah, Asim Azhar. Azhar. Asim Azhar. It's Azhar. It's Azhar. Yeah. I'm gonna say Azhar. You know, I'm saying that with love. And uh, it's like a seven-minute-long song. So the sound of it, I felt, was all over the place. Yeah. Because it begins with one genre, then it goes into Kavali, then it goes into Greek opera. Like you know, a lot happening, like a big orchestra happening, and then it goes back to Kavali, and then it's kind of flinging from here to there. Yeah, and that's what it's doing with the visuals as well. Yeah. Uh, so I guess I, I felt it was all over the place. Not my favorite Asim. Awesome <laughs> like what we said, I was like, wait, so do we know the plot of the drama? <laughs> Because... By the way, the OST video yeah has nothing to do with the the plot of the drama. Yeah. Usually. Look, at, I'm a very plot-driven person. Yeah. I'm like, tell me what I need to know. Ye na um, kare ya, ye na kya kare. Yeah. Dunya mein kya nahi hota. If yeah. you're giving us an OST and there's a video, that video needs to correspond to the story. Yeah, or like, like give us like some yeah. Easter eggs of like, so maybe once it comes out, it'll be about a group of three people who go to London through a bindi railway. <laughs> maybe I, that's not, what's I happening. Do, I know it's going to be about <laughs> this boy in love with this girl who is in love with this other boy. Does this happen that often in Pakistan? It seems to be the main plot All point of every drop. Meanwhile, track. I'm over here loving no one. No one's loving me. Like, am I missing something cultural? Yeah, you're, you're, you're thinking. Here I am trying to be in a relationship between yeah. two people, and every drama is giving you a love triangle. Yeah, that is like you know, some bhala ni jara, pyar, yeah. itna pyar, itna pyar. There's so pyaare. much love. Oh, for love! And over here, literally no Nothing. love. It's <laughs> mad. Okay, <laughs> fine, I guess. Also, I I took note that. Um, I actually wrote maybe the plot is about double booking dates because she leaves him to go on another date, like right yeah, in front of him. Yeah. And then I said there was vandalism in this music video because he got mad at the coffee shop. Also, there's a point where he like throws like a lit match into a bin, like a trash can, you know, because yeah, yeah. he's fired up. A, a and dustbin. The dustbin is like one of those plastic hampers, and so immediately I was like. Oh, uh, that's not gonna go the way you think it's gonna go. Like that's just gonna melt. You're not gonna get the fire that you yeah. wanted out of this. But yeah, overall, I love Asim Azhar's voice. He could literally sing anything. Absolutely. Um, but my favorite parts of this were the Kavali part mm -hmm. and like right in the beginning, which felt a little Bollywood to me. Um, but the also rest, good, good footwork by Sharia. Yeah, actually, yeah. I think he's yeah. like very solid on his feet. Yeah. As someone who dances, I thought like the the way his feet were moving, like I was like, oh, he's solid dancer. He's so, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, well. If we took it apart into like a hundred different pieces, they would be very good. I was gonna say, I do kind of hope they release the yeah. um, Asim Azhar's like first part and the Kavali part. Mm. Like maybe if they release that outside of this seven minutes of mm. um, madness. What's the word? Yeah, madness. <laughs> It, Disruption. Yeah. Yeah. Confusion. Yeah, right? I think it would be like, hey, again, awesome. awesome awesome. I am a big fan. Tika. Yeah. All right. All right, next. The let's sketches. move. Let, let, no, no. Let's no, no. come back to the sketches later. Let's do some local. Yes. Local okay. Yeah. Should we get your thoughts first since I'm the one that on pitched which one do you want my thoughts? Um, on? I want to start with what is my favorite of these like new songs that have come out. I would say Manu's Better Days. Better Days. So Better yeah. Days is a collaboration with Collab, right? Oh, is it? It is. Oh no way! <laughs> have you not seen the video? I actually didn't watch the video. Yeah. I gotta be honest. Like it's been on my like I've been playing it on my show for like a few weeks now. Yeah. yeah. So that's like interesting. I, yeah, it, it's a collaboration, yeah. and they've got a lot of people in the video. They've got Zara Pirzada. They've got um, I even wrote that's this. That's my Ali, girl, Ali Zishan. They've got Shabazz Tasi. Oh. So they've got all of La La Lahore elite is in that video. Okay, nice. And it's it's <laughs> they uh, took attendance at the door and at the door, <laughs> and it's collab. I think is in office spaces. Yeah, like it's kind of, um, you know. yeah shared uh, working space. So they're, space. They're, he's pushing for better days and better oh. workplace kind of a thing. Ah. Oh. Uh, Here's what I'll say. I like it without music <laughs> video. To me, because like I wrote down, I was like, um, like I had, I did kind of kill it for you a little bit because what I wrote is like the thing with Manu is his uh, lyrics are never lazy. Mm -hmm. Like I will say, some of the other songs on here, I'm like, okay, like I can guess the next word that's coming, and that's okay. Like pop music that's popular and easy listening that happens. I think Manu doesn't fall into that trap, which mm. is fantastic. Um, but then again, I'm like a professed fan, so I understand. But like, I really think his lyrical play is so strong. So to 
So that's interesting. But see, the fact that I didn't know that and I couldn't be like, that's hey, fine. this is gimmicky. That's fine. I think that's great. Yeah, so he did a great fair. job. I'm definitely yeah, yeah. going to watch the music video, yeah, though, because yeah, that's yeah. hilarious, that's okay. actually. But the thing, okay, like I said last time, I don't get the hype about Manu at you all. You did, yeah. I don't get it. But I, I can understand that he's very strong lyrically because when he wrote it, he wrote it for Yeah. It's very good. Yeah, yeah. And the compositions are very good. But there is not a single Manu song that I remember, like, uh. you know, that I would say, you know, I want to hum it. Or yeah. it's, if it were playing in the background, I would say it's really pleasant. It's good music to hear. But it's nothing like unforgettable. Oh, so. You know, as, yeah. That's you, okay. You can we sing all of Manu songs. Honestly, yeah. But it's like, really I nice. truly. Um, Maybe I'm just an older generation. Not you know, it's true. Like, it's yeah. like, it's like what becomes an earworm. To, yeah. I, you know, like that is the sound I've like. I like attach memories with, yeah. I would say was, is like that kind of Take rap it. that's clever. Um, so yeah, for me, that was one of my favorites. Then we had another one I really liked, which I feel like is a slightly different so sound for Rosio. It's called Rulgaya. Rulgaya. Yeah. Actually, this is one I haven't heard. Oh, okay. So you have to feel So here's right. what I'll say about it. I have a playlist on Spotify called Sexy and Depressy. You've mentioned that. Yeah, <laughs> that's my favorite. This definitely falls in that category. Okay. And I think Rosio is, um, like, he can... Sexy and Depressy. Yeah. So like it's like a flirt, it's like a, you know, flirty sort of I'm feeling myself song, but at the same time I want to cry. <laughs> That is so sad. It's a it's an intersection of my that emotions. Is so sad. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not a happy playlist, but it's still like it's like you a put, emotion. You put like in excess on this list, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. totally. Yeah, that's my longest playlist. Uh, so it's okay. called. Uh, so I think that it's true R and B. Okay. Uh, which R and B? So like hip hop, rap, R and B. I feel like R and B hasn't like transcended as much as hip-hop and um yeah. rap has into pop like mm -hmm. r&b is still big like you have SZA and things like that but mm -hmm. like it's not at that like exact level unless someone like drake is bringing it in but rosio i think is one to really watch in like that category and i think this song really hits the marks for me i thought it was great i've added it to my full disclosure playlist right. okay stupid yeah. question yeah what's the difference between r&b and hip-hop okay so hip-hop and rap is more like <laughs> me completely making this up. It's not entirely, but what my understanding is, is that's a little more of like the classic rap, rhythm, prose, in right. that sort of way. R&B is more rhythm and blues. Rhythm, so blues, it's kind yeah. of like a far, 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 far derivative of jazz. I almost want to say so if it more, became more like lyrical. Melody yeah. as opposed to more verse. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But okay. yeah, like, so like Tony Braxton, R&B. Yeah. You know, yeah. me going like so far back. I'm like, let I me mean, think of somebody oh, modern. Nicola, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, let me go Braxton. back. Let me go to the 80s real quick. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> TK. There's many TK. more. TK. Um, I would also say sometimes Natasha Narani also veers R&B mm. a little bit more. Mm. And like, you know, they're more like love songs and things like that, right. I would say. Feelings. Right. Um, okay, another one that is new that this is actually from his 2023 album called Turbo. Mm. And this is Talal Qureshi, Bilal Baloch with Indian rapper Yash, Yash Raj. Raj. And it's called Kundi. Yeah. Um, what did you think? I really liked it. Right? Yeah, I really liked it. I think it was very catchy. Yeah. And of course, I my first listen is always on YouTube. So I love the video as well. Yeah. And I felt it was comparing India and Pakistan. You know, you couldn't tell the roads apart if it weren't for the writing on the wall. Yeah. And it was really fun. It connected well. It, it was fun. I Yeah. If I wrote, like, it's a, definitely a summer song. Yeah. So this was, I think, late into last year at the Lal's album. I'm mm. so happy he released it yeah. now at this time. Right. Um, and uh, last show we did, we talked about a bunch of, like, collaborations that was happening between Indian and Pakistani mm. artists. This is another fantastic example. Yeah. And, yeah, I think it's a fan great song. The Lal Gracie makes good bangers. He does. He does. He really he does. does. Yeah. I feel like... He's not just churning things out that mm. sound the same. They're distinctive songs, mm. but, and I love that. And you can't, you don't always know it's him, which yeah. I think is actually like a powerful move as a yeah, producer yeah. Um, that you're, you're still surprising people because he's been in the game for right, a very right. long time. So. so the thing with all these people is that all these young kids is that their, their voices are not distinctive to me because okay. I'm just talking about voice, yeah, not sound. 
فار ایگزامپل آسم اظہر کو جب میں سنتی ہوں تو آئی امیجیٹلی نو یہ آسم اظہر کی آواز ہے اور یو لسن ٹو عاطف یو امیجیٹلی نو یہ عاطف کی آواز ہے تو ساؤنڈ جو ڈسٹنکشن بہت وائس ڈسٹنکشن بہت زیادہ ہے ان سب کو سن کے ایسا لگتا ہے جیسے کہ یہ سب کی آواز میرے لیے مکس ہو جاتی ہے two or three you can pick a few songs that they have worked on also, together also maybe I'm, I'm a different generation mm-hmm. so unless a, a sound or a voice makes it to a film or a drama yeah or to that level of popularity where you've got like oh my god these songs are fantastic okay so which is why i mean hasan rahim has because he had those huge hits right yeah and then of course atif agara sab kuch young stunners did yeah because their hits were mammoth And these people are huge. I mean, Talal Qureshi is, is really big. Yeah. But I wouldn't recognize his voice. So he produces. He never, I don't think he yeah. performs. I, I could be wrong. Tell me in the comments. But I think he's mostly like a writer and producer. Right. Um, Bilal Baloch, he was a part of Towers. That was Phil Hall. Yeah. Which was one of, but uh, yeah. Oh, I think, he? yeah, but I think he's now like on the up and up, okay. I would say. Yeah. Um, But see, that's actually why I like Manu so much. Because when I saw him perform live, mm. I was like, oh, whoa. Like, his voice is exactly how it that's is. Nice. Like, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself. I said this on the last episode. Yeah. But it, because I've been to so many live concerts in my life, I have, you know, I feel very blessed that I can say that. Mm. And many times I've been like, I feel bamboozled. <laughs> like, yeah. you don't sound like... He sounds exactly the same. And yeah. I was very impressed Cheek, with that. Cheek, okay. Yeah. Uh, you, but, but speaking Kundi, of... Kundi is, is a good song. Kundi is a, a fantastic song. song. Yeah. If you listen to Full Disclosure, you best believe we're playing yeah. it Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of Young Stunners, Tala Yunus had a song. And this was in one of our comments also yeah. in the last video. He just dropped a new one with Njoke, I think is Njoke. the name. And yeah. it's called Jet Lag. What do you say? I thought it was fun, but I, like... F- again, for me, it was forgettable. Yeah, I'm not like... Like, it's on my playlist, but yeah. it's not my favorite. I, he has, you know... It's fun, though. I understand. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it fits in the repertoire. We understand why you love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Some if you love like it a lot, it. I yeah. totally get it. It's a fun song, easy listen. All of the songs that we talked about, like, they're good weather music. Like, they make me think of, like, sure. driving, windows down, going to the beach. They wouldn't be on my playlist. Yeah. <laughs> another, another, another one is, is Yade. Yeah. Heather so, Yade is Heather, H-Y-D-R. What's this in? All caps. Yeah, all caps. Yeah. He said, Zane. And, <laughs> um... And I he, said it's and okay. He sounds like Zen. Yeah. Man, Actually, you know what I said? Yeah. I said he reminds me of a summertime Bieber. Like when Justin Bieber does like a few drops in a summer. Mm. Like, I got my peaches down in Georgia. Although Justin Bieber is Zionist. Um, but like he, that's what uh, this song kind of reminded me of. That it was like a, you know, different release maybe. But I'm not very familiar with Heather's music. No. So, but I, I do believe it, it he's a bit more of a romantic didn't, didn't crooner. It didn't make me want to be familiar with Heather. <laughs> <Okay. music. laughs> it was like, fair. okay. Yeah. I mean, if, I, if I had to hear something like that, I would listen to Zan. Yeah, fair. And, and I did. Yeah. Oh and yeah, what did you think yeah, of the new I Zan really Malik it. song? I really liked it. What I Am. What I Am, yeah. 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 There are two versions. One that has been bleeped out. And one with a lot of expletives, which then loves to use in his songs. Yeah. But um, but I like it. I yeah. like it when he asks, you know, do you think I'm stupid? You know? Yeah. yeah I think um, it, it was giving me a little country. I don't know why. Hmm. And just as a brown person from the States, okay. my immediate We're like... We're really oh. holding on Yeah, to yeah. I'm just yeah. like... Yeah. But I, I, I mean, his voice is incredible. And also he... did what he did was he walked onto Jimmy Fallon which is mm. a huge late night show in the mm. west put a paper on his desk and then walked the other way and all Jimmy Fallon did was be like oh Zayn Malik dropping a new song the single this week and it blew up like really? his his power is like incredible like yeah. i really feel like people are always like harry styles harry styles harry styles no no but i'm like i mean he's good harry, harry styles, styles is great good. in yeah. his own right i'm yeah, not yeah. the biggest fan the zionist but um, zayn malik is bracket yeah, yeah bracket zayn malik um yeah and i'm happy for him i love when he's putting out music i kind of feel that he's singing this to Gigi. you know she's reading bradley cooper i know that yeah i know that i just feel like if Gigi, you could do better than that he's seriously. old enough to be your dad that's okay though <laughs> not for me no. <laughs> not when you're under 30. she and zane should get back together have, they meant a lot to the you, muslim world not when you have zane's baby get back together that's all i'm saying imagine I mean, he, eid he did write the song for you yeah maybe <laughs> I 
feels like he did. I feel like he should marry a ba- I'm just saying we should get him hooked up with a Pakistani girl. Yeah, That's yeah. All I'm saying. Imagine the wedding. We love our foreign puppies. Um, yeah. Before we get back into Pakistani music. Yeah. Because we count Zayn as Pakistani music. music. Yeah. I thought we would talk a little bit about Ariana Grande. Um, That's sh- another one I haven't heard. Oh, you didn't? I did not. Oh, let me say, say this much. So, um, first of all, she has been, uh, at least in her social media activity, uh, liking pro-Palestine content, which is the only reason we are talking. Uh, right. I brought her back to my show as well. Right. But this is her newest album, Eternal Sunshine. We won't spend too much time on this. I'll just say this, that as someone who has listened to her music before, this is the first album where I'm like, oh, I could listen to every song. Mm-hmm. Like, I, her okay. time away and her comeback. Because that good. Yeah, it's really fun. Like, it's... Strong lyrics, but they're fun. And obviously she has an incredible voice, but yeah, you're going to enjoy it is what I think. And all the songs that have come out so far have been great. I personally really, my two favorites right now are We Can't Be Friends and Don't Want to Break Up Again, mm. which like hilarious because mm. she loves to make up to break up. Okay. As noted by all her other okay. albums. Okay. Yeah. Did okay. The Weeknd drop a couple of new songs this month? Or? So he like... And we love Yeah, we, we love, love him. him. We love so him. So he, Absolutely. from his show Popular, which was like critically panned, yeah. but the soundtrack on that. Now, if you like The Weeknd for his a little more risque music, yeah. I would say his song, One of Your, One of the, One of Your Girls, mm. that he recently dropped, which has Lily Rose Depp mm. on it, um, who is the co-star in Popular, and um, Filthy Song. Great song. <laughs> Listen to it, uh, but don't be mad at me about it. There's another one I didn't write been it. listening to on loop. I don't remember the name, but yeah. it was a great sound. I also <laughs> think that Weekend, ki jo gaane hai na, ki jo compositions or tunes, hai, they're one of the most highly copied tunes in the world. Oh, yeah, for sure. I like that every third song is by Weekend inspired. Hai. Since when he did Blinding Lights, he literally reignited yeah, yeah, yeah. the 80s revival in music, which yeah. I think was almost every album we got up until Blinding about Lights two years ago. Blinding Lights and the, the Fifty Shades of Grey song. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that, that Also, do you know Zayn Malik's Fifty Shades of Grey song, yes. Dust Till Dawn with Taylor Swift, is still his like his top streamed song really? of all time. Yeah. Really? Another Maybe Fifty song. Shades of Grey inspired people. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Terrible movie. <laughs> but, but, yeah. Jamie Dornan, though. Yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah. I've only seen the first one, and then I was like, enough. enough. Also, it's always number one on Pakistan Netflix, always, no matter how always. many years it's been out. And Fighter, by the way. Yeah. That, that really that awful film that, from, that attacks Pakistan. From the oh, Indian yeah, film, yeah. Uh, it was oh, Deepika, one, right? Most watched film yeah. in Pakistan. Deepika, come on, girl. Okay, I don't think come on yet. Yeah, come on. No, because he needs a movie again because he's like floundering. My thing is, if you're that beautiful, but you're not getting movie roles, just become a model. Like, no, don't do don't do hate movies. Yeah, don't do hate movies. We we don't need any more hate in this world. World, We do not. Listen, our economy is tanking. Leave us alone. Okay, (laughs) we have other problems, right? And none of us are trying to do anything over there. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, I'm just trying to like get my groceries in like this week. All right. Gosh. Seriously. I mean, she's having her first baby, though. I know. Yeah. Congrats on that. (laughs) Hopefully, you're not teaching them hate. Okay. Yeah. That was our rant. Yeah. So um, I'm like sweating from the stress of this. For all of our beer fans after me, now the book of fans, fans are going to be after you. Yeah, my singles, so we've done yes, yes. our singles. So yeah. moving to the Ishq Murshid soundtrack. Yes. And Ishq Murshid soundtrack has been doing phenomenally well. Yeah. And the Emmett Jazeeb um, title track has been doing really well. It's, people love it. I love it. But then sketches. Oh my God. Yeah. They're the two songs that have been playing on the drama. Um, let's start with Jeevan, I think. Um, because I didn't like it as much. You didn't like it? I thought it was sweet. Okay. Um, but like, I wasn't getting as sucked in as Sapna Sapna. Sapna Sapna, yeah. Like, which I was... Did you hear the Urdu version or the Sindhi version? Sindhi version. version. Yeah, of course. Um, Hear the Sindhi version. Yeah, I literally wrote in my notes, great song. (laughs) Love the vibe. I feel like I can feel the weather. Which, like, okay, I'll explain this. Like, for me, I make playlists called Good Weather Music, where it's a very specific feeling of, like, when, you know, the breeze hits you, and it just, you just feel the youngest you've ever felt. And, like, yeah. that's what I, like, when music, like, transports you into just 
feeling like you're in the most beautiful place in the world with the most beautiful weather. That, that would, for me would be rain soundtrack. Yeah, like rainy day. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah, absolutely. And I, but see, sapna sapna to me, I could easily hear that in a monsoon, and it been, would make absolute sense I've to me. I've been listening to it all the time. It's just, yeah, it's, it's a, magical. It's yeah, really beautiful. Perfect word. Magical. magical. I magical. think it's a song that stirs you. Totally. It's so beautiful. And again, this, and I even know like Sindhi is such a beautiful language. Yeah. It's too underutilized in Pakistan, as are all our regional languages. Yeah. And it's so strange to say regional when it's really like millions of people you who know, are speaking but yeah. this. Um, but yeah, 10 out of 10. I could listen to that song all beautiful day, every song. day. Beautiful song. Um, And the fact that I, you, it's original drama soundtrack songs, originals, yeah. written, composed, this Absolutely. and that. We mentioned this on the last episode as well. You had said that, like, we're going to be seeing more of this. Like, So this is not an original drama soundtrack song. Oh. He really, he sang the song, I think, a couple of years ago. Oh. But, yeah, so credit to Farooq Rin, the director, yeah. that because he's Sindhi. So he brings a lot of synth into his dramas, nice. into the narrative. I really like that. Yeah. And so he brought these songs in. I think not a couple of years, maybe last year. But it's okay. not, it wasn't written for the drama. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, and that kind of makes it even cooler. Yeah, in a way. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. because and it works so well. It works very well. Yeah. So yeah, it was beautiful song. Yeah. Must hear. Yeah. Makes me cry. Yeah. But in the best way. In the best way. Yeah. yeah. Not in the way that Jolie Gapiche's new one makes me cry, where I was like, <laughs> or Gagra. My, uh, like, I can't. That's a gag. That is not a good song. I thought it was a joke. But I love Diljeet. <laughs> And if we he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We love Diljeet. But um, one last shout out yeah. to Mohsin Aladita. Okay. Because he's a composer and he does a lot of soundtracks for dramas and he's been doing it for years. And he's just come out with the, the score for this upcoming drama called Gentleman. You may have come across it on Instagram. Yeah. It's Humayun Saeed and uh, Adnan Siddiqui and Yumna Zaidi. Okay. Yeah, and it's yeah. got a very like a country kind of a western, you know, a oh. gangster kind of a beat. And when I heard the music, I was like, wow, this is made. It's not your usual Sahir Ali Bagga uh, song, sound. This, it's unique. And, and Mohsen always delivers something unique. So... Huge shout out to him. As someone who reviews dramas a lot, yeah. um, do you see like an upward swing happening? With this, the dramas or yeah, with the sound? Even with sound, content, <clears throat> because I feel like I'm seeing more effort put into is, stories there is, there these is. days. Like, yeah. There is, absolutely. There are a couple of dramas coming up that look really different. Yeah. And even if they're not, I think the production value's gone up. Yes. It, they've become more experimental. Actually, even this... Um, <laughs> If you want to call it a music video or an immersive, it is, it is. immersive experience yeah. that this <laughs> yeah. Rod song was, yeah. I have to say the production quality Absolutely. was top notch. Yeah. Like, yeah. and I and I, I, all the music videos that we've been seeing as of late, I feel yeah. like people are understanding. Put money into your artists. Put money so, into their work. So unfortunately, yeah. the Saas Bahu kahani gets the most views. Yeah. Uske baad, it's the trashy romance, yeah. aka uh, Tere Bin, yeah. that gets the most views because that's what people want to see. Yeah. A slightly relationship, a fr friction in a relationship, and the conflict and the, you know, the heavy heaving and the, all of that. <laughs> they, they want that. And when they get it, you know, the views go through the roof. Yeah. When it's experimental, the views fall. Yeah. But it's important to do that because you need to give people something new. Um, and, and the trend needs to pick up. Yeah. You also need to reach out to a new generation of viewers. It can't just be the, the housewife at home who wants to see what she can relate to. Yeah. You know, the Saas Bahu thing. And also, they're getting bored too, man. They're turning to are Netflix. They, I think some I don't of them are. My mom are, is getting think. bored. Really? Yeah. She's not a housewife, but she's still getting bored. And she's yeah. at home and she's a wife. So technically, it's all that there. Yeah. But um, I'm getting bored of it. I've been bored of it. But not that Netflix doesn't give some really bad content. Case in point, Moses. The story of Moses' testament. Oh my yeah. God, it's so bad. I didn't watch it. Don't, don't watch know. it. I've seen the one, like the animated one as a kid and uh, I went to Sunday school. So I feel that I got <laughs> that covered. Um, right. But I I, ha I know the Pakistan Netflix dramas yeah. are like in the works. That I'm excited to see. Oh, I thought there was two. Yeah. No, no, I'm confusing one. One is a different one that's right. like a telefilm that's coming right, out. Right, right, yeah. um, but I'm pumped to see that. I and, know, yeah. things are happening. I'm big, things are things happening. Are happening. Yeah. So we talked a lot about dramas and a little will, about music. We will continue. No, drama yeah, music. No, no, drama, drama music. music. We will yeah. continue talking about all kinds of music. 
do drop us suggestions, right? Yeah. We do want to hear from you. And uh, which one of these songs do you like? Do you not like? Do you agree with us? Do you not agree with us? We hate Israel. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, we did not plan this. I was rocking we, my we Palestine continue, bracelet. We continue to hate the um, exactly. And she and I walked in and I was like, oh hey, yeah, um, absolutely. And yeah, I guess. But music unites the world. Yeah, and we need to appreciate that. Yeah. and we're all for collaborations, and there can be no hate in this kind of artistic. No, yeah. no, I feel, I feel there shouldn't be. Yeah, I want to see Manu and AP Dylan <laughs> on a song Manu together. Manu and AP Dylan. Yeah. Hmm. Who do I? Want and I want to be in the music video. Of course. And I want to marry AP Dylan. Why so. don't you go to Coachella? Yeah, <laughs> Coachella. I <Kuchilla>. wish. <laughs> oh, I would be there in a hot second. I hope he says Coachella. That would be a throwback. The audience will yeah. go crazy. Um, but also but the other also thing until is until Coldplay makes it to Pakistan, which is by the way happening. Oh, I don't know. Is it? <laughs> Also, Coke Studio, wake up. Yeah. 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 I mean, uh, let's see what happened. But I mean, we want them back. I, yeah. I would love it if it all released, like, in a way that we could do. What all? The Coke Studio, that we yeah. could sit and, you know, go through it. That would be amazing. So it's like send, oh. sending out some good vibes. And the other thing, yeah. if you check in the link, we have a Spotify playlist of all the songs we discuss. And some we don't, like, but just songs that have been coming out. Is it public? Yeah, we'll make it public. Okay, we'll make it public. Yeah. yeah. So Overground Is it March. not public? I don't know. I don't know how to make it public. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, can you add the songs? And she's like, got it. Sent me yeah, YouTube yeah, links. Yeah, I was like, I got it. I, I got, got it. it. <laughs> um, Overground March. Yeah. That's what you need to look for. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>